Hello scholars, some last minute tutoring uh, answer keys because I didn't get to go over all of it. Uh, here are some example problems that you should think about and review before tomorrow's test. Number one, for what values of x will the expression below undefined? Undefined, we learned it a long time ago, means when the denominator is equal to zero. Right? We cannot have a zero in the denominator. And when we have zero in the denominator, we call that undefined. So this question is asking, what value of x is going to make the denominator equal to zero? So in order for us to find those values, we will have to set the denominator equal to zero. We're going to go ahead and solve this problem. So you can do quadratic formula, however, my preference is AC method. A is 1, B is negative 1, C is negative 2, 1 times negative 2. So I need to think of two numbers that multiply to negative 2, but add up to negative 1. Negative 2 and 1. So then... I rewrite the middle term, I pair up, factor out the GCF, factor out the GCF, finish factoring, set each factor equal to zero, because this says solve for the value of x. So we have just figured out that when x is equal to negative 1 or x is equal to 2, we're going to have a 0 in the denominator. Okay? I want to just show you that that is true by saying negative 1, stow, x, enter, and typing in the denominator. Okay? Let's try 2, stow, x, enter. So we do end up with 0 in the denominator. Okay? Number 2, find the domain of the following function. All right, The rule that you must remember is that when we have square root, we cannot have a negative number under the square root. So if you think about the number line, and I have 0, this is the negative side, this is the positive side. right? This thing under the square root sign cannot be equal to the negative one, right? Negative numbers. So can it equal zero? Yes, it can, right? Can it be greater than zero? Yes, it can. So that's why we set up this inequality. Whatever that's under the square root sign is greater than or equal to zero. Because the only rule that I taught you is that I cannot have a negative number under the square root sign. So how do we solve it? Divide both sides by 2. So 3 is greater than or equal to x. So let me go ahead and create a number line with the 3. So x can equal 3. But then here, right, 3 is larger than x, right? So 3 is larger than x. That means x is actually smaller than 3. So I should shade in the left side. Right? How do I show this using interval notation? Negative infinity to 3. Right? And then when we have infinity symbol, we use parentheses. 3 is a closed circle, so I use bracket. Okay? So that, that makes sense because domain is looking for all the x values. right? And all the x values from all the way to the left to all the way to the right, that's it. Number three, if f of x is this and g of x is that, so we're talking about two different functions, an approximate solution for the equation f of x is equal to g of x. So let's actually just stick to what's given here. I'm going to set this equal to this, right? 
So if I were to solve this solution, right, the only solution I have is the x value. Okay, x is my only solution. So off the bat, I can actually eliminate answer choice 3 and answer choice 4 because they are giving me both x and y coordinate. All right, so then now, actually, let me go ahead and test out my answers. Okay, so again, I'm going to go ahead and do 1.96 stop x and let me check out the left side absolute value is under num okay math num okay it's the first option okay let me check out the right side Okay, so it tells me that they are not equal to each other at all. Okay, so that is not my solution. Okay, so then by the process of elimination, 2 is my answer. Okay, but we can also check our answer, right? So I'm going to do 11.29 sto x. Okay. Okay, so these, right, it's the approximate solution, so they are about the same, okay? So that tells me that actually my answer is indeed number two. All right, number four, what is the solution set of the equation? Blah. Okay, yes, if this was an open response, you would go ahead and find the LCD, okay? Multiply everything by LCD and then solve the quadratic. However, they give us answer choices. So we're going to go ahead and actually plug and chug. Okay, so this is why I'm telling you, you need to get yourself a nice graphing calculator. So I'm going to go ahead and do negative 1 over 3, sto x. And I'm going to start typing the left side of the equation. Notice you put parentheses around the denominator and the numerators, which has more than one terms. So this one has two terms, so I put parentheses around. Uh-oh, it says error, divide by zero. Remember, never, ever divide by zero. That's undefined. So off the bat, I need to cross out negative 1 over 3. That's not my solution. All right, let's check out the next one. 1 over 2, sto x. 2 divided by 3x plus 1, parentheses around the denominator. Okay, let me check out the right side of the equation. Hey, so half is a solution. We don't even have to go on because this has to be my solution. All right, uh, you can go ahead and pause the video and then try these two problems by yourself. And then once you're done, you should try the next problem by yourself. Pause the video.
So for this one here, you need to actually be really careful. So 5.6 versus 6. Okay. They are about 4.4 units away from each other. Okay, what about this one? 5.8 versus 6. 0.2 away from each other. So the better answer here is actually 2.6. Okay. You can check 5.9. So let me just go ahead and do that. 1.8. And they are completely different numbers. So I, can, I know I'm going to automatically cross out number 3. Right? Same thing for number 4. Negative one is the solution. So I don't even have to. Well, actually, it says all real numbers. So you should try negative five or actually some other random numbers. So this is actually trickier than I had um, envisioned. But let's try negative five. Okay, so negative 5 did not work. You get what I'm trying to say? Okay, so then I know, okay, not this one, so it must be this one. All real numbers consist of negative 5, negative 1, 0, 1, 2, all numbers, okay? All fractions as well, okay? So nope, nope, nope. 